Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've been having a rockin' Thursday. It's a Thursday, June 13th, 2019. Today's the day that the Toronto Raptors beat the Warriors and are now champions of the world. They won the NBA Finals. So, fitting to do a little bit of basketball at the end of the night. On the 13th, four box, pick your team five, 2018-19 Panini Noir Basketball. Thanks, everyone, for getting into it. Appreciate it. We had a non-stop day today, so I appreciate that. That dual case break was the grueling one. I think that's what took it out of me. All right, let's see what happens in this one. People have been really on board all of this noir. I think people really love the way it looks this year because... Spots and breaks have been filling up fast, so got got some more in the store, so check it out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Frame on the bottom. Put that right on top of there. Let's get a blank card to sit on top of that. A little more anticipation. Good luck, everybody. I think it's LeBron. Yeah, four out of 25. Vintage art noir. LeBron James, Lakers. What was that on the back of that frame there? Um, that's Jeremy Tillman. Looks like a little dent in the in the frame. Right there. Next guy, Anthony Davis. Will he team up with LeBron James over here? Maybe. Maybe. They're talking. That's what Woj has been saying. They're talking. There's LaMarcus Aldridge to 85. Spurs, Jeremy Tillman. Jumbo material, Markel Fultz. One out of eight for the Orlando Magic. So they updated the team. Jeremy Tillman with the Magic. Could be an interesting pickup for the, for the uh, Magic, I think. Former number one overall pick. Rookie Jumbo Material, Michael Bridges to 99 for the Suns. Joe Matthews with Phoenix. New Wave jerseys, Wendell Carter Jr., 44 out of 99. Uh, Grundison with that one. With Da Bulls. We got Isaiah Thomas, Nuggets, 74 out of 99. IT going to Preston, who got the Nuggets last spot mojo. Magic a playoff team again next year, Arson's asking. Maybe. Um, I guess if they don't end up trading like Vucevic, perhaps. Nice John Collins for the Hawks. Hawks could be a playoff team next year. Jeremy Tillman with the Hawks. Guys like Collins and Trey Young and Huter, etc. See, that's the thing. Do they let Vucevic go? I think that's the big thing. They got so close. I mean, they got into the playoffs. So do they get him back? Yeah, I don't know. LaMarcus Aldridge, sneaker. Spotlight for the Spurs. Nice one for San Antonio. That is for Jeremy Tillman. Joe Matthews says let him walk. I'm really interested to see. I think they got great value with Markel Fultz. They got it for almost nothing. There's Kevin Knox and Knox in the box. 17 out of 99. Spotlight signatures. And that'll be for Jeremy 33 in the New York Knicks. So let him walk and then go after a garden free agency. 
Um, I'm not trying to be like, you know, insensitive or anything like that. But everyone says it's like, do guard, do players, do guards want to go to who can you get? Who can the Orlando Magic get? You know, they always talk about this in the media too. Oh, free agents don't want to go to X Y Z city. You know, Is it, will it be that easy to go after players in free agency? Are we talking top free agency? You know, or maybe a mid 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 range free agent? Think with the new front office it'll be better. Is that is that true, Gianni? Clay Thompson tore his ACL. Oh, that's crazy if it's true. Lonnie Walker the fourth. Well, if Clay Thompson, if he tore his ACL and without KD, this this offseason is going to be wild. His agent just announced it to the media. Wow. Yeah. This I see it. On the Twitter, Sports Center agent tells Woj Clay Thompson has suffered a torn AC on his left. Uh, well, Woj said it, Gianni. It's true. Sports Center official Twitter tagging at Woj says his agent has told Woj. This reminds me of uh, the later years of the the Lakers dynasties. Well, this off season, there's Kevin Love to 25 is going to be nuts because everyone's going to be like, now is the chance. You know, no KD next year, no Clay Thompson for much of next year. If, if probably not, probably all year. ACL take a little while, right? That goes to Rich and the Cavs. So now everyone's thinking, hey, it's our chance to get a get a chip. There's Andre Drummond to 85. So now I think front office are going to be going into overdrive. But it happens. Everyone was thought, oh, you know, the Warriors will just be there for the next 15 years or whatever. But uh, Miles Lacey with the Pistons. But Dynasty is always, something always happens, you know. Shaq gets mad at Kobe, you know. People get old, people get injured, you know. It, it's crazy. There's Hamadou Diallo. That's for OKC, Jeremy Tillman. Elegant Decor, Dante DiVincenzo, 29 out of 85, 65. That is for Clement and the Bucks. Kevin Knox, 80 out of 99, Rookie Jumbo Materials. Arson's asking when Bama and Clemson are going to fall. I feel like that's a little bit different, right? They're just, they're just continuing to replenish. I guess once those coaches retire. Yeah, Matthew's on the same page. He's like, yeah, once Saban and, and Dabo leave. Gary Trent Jr., RPA, Trailblazers. That'll be for Jeremy 33. Chauncey Billups to 99. Rainy Nights. Clay will be fine. will be back, no problem. KD, yeah, the Achilles thing is a lot more scary. That's Chauncey going to Miles Lacey Jr. Nice, Miles. A couple more to go. We got Javon Carter, two-color jersey and autograph. <laughs> Gianni, we could live in a world where Clay Thompson and Kevin Durant get re-signed, right, for the Golden State Warriors for possibly cheaper than they would have originally signed for if they were healthy. Grizzlies, Wayne Stock. And then they can tank. Wow, there's AI. 72 out of 99. Raining Knights autograph for the Sixers. Logan. Nice one, Logan. And they could they could tank and get like a lottery pick 
and then come back the following year with Katie, Clay, Steph, and their lottery pick. Could happen. Which would be crazy. All right, nice AI for Logan, by the way, for the Sixers. All right, two more to go. And this guy wouldn't even have to be 100% to play with that team. <laughs> no, it's just like, no, 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 stop. One, good luck. Yeah, they would try to change the lottery rules. Steph gets an MVP because he's just carrying the team. There's Chandler Hutchinson for the Bulls. Jimmy Butler for the Sixers. What do the Sixers do? Sixers, I mean, this offseason is going to be wild, folks. With the injuries that the Warriors have had, the Raptors winning it all, where does Kawhi go? New GM in New Orleans. Lakers are desperate. Knicks are desperate. You know? Kevin Durant. Free agents all over the place. Lot lottery picks. Zion. You know, the... There's Andre Drummond, box office memorabilia. So it's going to be wild. There's Andre Drummond for the Pistons, Miles. There's Dish Knight, Gary Harris to 65. Knicks, Knicks are getting screwed, says Joe Matthews. Yeah, Knicks had all these grand plans, right? Let's, let's get KD in. Getting KD will equal... Kyrie getting in, then we trade the pick and some of our, like, the five guards that we have and send that to New Orleans and get AD, and then profit, and then championships. There's DeAndre Jordan in 99. And it does feel bad. I mean, I'm not the biggest Warrior fan, nor am I. I'm not a Warriors fan, you know, and I am not a fan. I like Steph and Clay, but I'm not a huge fan of KD. He's a great player, fantastic, but... But I don't want to see that kind of thing happen to, to players. There's Dante DiVincenzo, reigning Knights autograph, 41.99 for Clement and the Bucks. Well, I don't know what's going to happen with that, Gianni. As long as the Lakers don't give up the entire farm for AD. Like, what is what is the package that you would send for AD that would make you as a fan happy? Because I don't think that's the package that <laughs> that the that they want. There's a Wildcat, Carl Anthony Towns, 7 out of 10, Showtime autograph. Look at that. Got his, got his show shirt on. He's in the show. He's got his show shirt, his show pants. Got his show chain on. That goes to Patrick Edwards and the Timberwolves. Nice. Showtime. There's J.J. Barea. Dallas Mavericks, 45 out of 99. That goes to uh, Mark Leros and the Mavs. Go after Beal instead. Run it with Beal. Braun. Braun and the kids next year. Is that what LeBron wants? Does he want to run with Bradley Beal? Ooh, and a Trey Young. Rookie patch auto. Three color patch. On card auto, 82 out of 99. That is a strong one for Jeremy Tillman and the Atlanta Hawks. There you go. Love it. It's a good looking hit. Yeah, I mean, the the LeBron thing has kind of messed up the Lakers a little bit because we're on, like, LeBron's timeline, LeBron, the LeBron window, and not, like, Laker window. 
which we should just be on Laker window. Why not just, yeah, maybe go after a Bradley Beal or maybe a maybe a Vucevic or something like that, and then just wait for Anthony Davis in free agency. And if he comes, he comes. And if he doesn't, he doesn't. You know, and then we just keep adding and keep tinkering with the lineup. But it's not what LeBron wants. And it would be a waste of LeBron's time. Like, I wouldn't want to do that either. Like, we kind of put ourselves in a corner by getting LeBron. Which is not bad, you know. <laughs> On his day, when healthy, top five player in the league, right? Easily. But now all the decisions are now based around him. And it'd be silly to not support him. Right? So we're kind of screwed. We're in a corner. Or it'd be, it'd be silly not to support him. So you have to. You got LeBron, so you have to have to do what you need to do to support him. Even though the smart thing would be to do the opposite. But that's a waste of time. And that's a waste of LeBron's career. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to be the team that wasted LeBron's the last, like, six, five years of LeBron's career, right? There's Charles Barkley, Sixers edition. 25. But, hey, I always liked Vucevic, Joe Matthews. I think he'd be a pretty good fit for the Lakers. And that goes to Logan and the Sixers. There's Jeremy Lin to 85. Jeremy Lin has a chip. Now we live in a world where Jeremy Lin has a, has a ring. Arson says legacy tarnished by moving around so much. Yeah, maybe. There's Josh Richardson. Man, I don't know. That's a tough one. Because I feel like that Cleveland ownership is so bad. I don't blame him for wanting to leave. You know, then he kind of knew he had to come back just for PR and deliver that chip. But then that ownership was so bad. Like, I don't think he wanted to stay. Like, I think that will be the, that will be like the sort of story that comes out after his retirement is just how bad that relationship was between LeBron and Cleveland ownership and how they never kept a GM longer than their original contract, could never build any consistency on that team. They never built around him. You know, they pieced together all these... It was Kyrie and LeBron. They pieced together all these overpriced players that LeBron kind of wanted, but, you know, the GMs, they knew they were getting fired, so they had to do whatever LeBron does, right? They had no leverage because they knew that that, that ownership would never... Uh, I'm blanking on the owner's name, but the, the, that ownership would never re... Knew their contract, so they they were neutered from the beginning. So of course they had to do what LeBron wanted to do, and so that narrative, get, that narrative. There he is, right there. His ears were burning. He was he heard us talking about him. I'm just telling it like it is, LeBron. I think I think you would agree with me, LeBron, if we sat down and talked about this. That's reverse jersey number, by the way, 32 Magic Johnson out of 65. And so I think that's what it was. That that relationship was that bad. Jeremy Tillman with my Lakers. They never built around him. Never created a, a stable front office around him. And so he has, he has to make these moves. There's Kawhi jersey, 37 out of 65 champion. He's got two now. He can get three with a different team. Raptors, that'll be for Jeremy, 33. Next one, Jumbo Materials, CJ McCollum, 27 out of 45. Trailblazers, also for Jeremy, 33. Although, Arson, I do have to say, I, I know the money went to charity, but I hated the way he did the decision. I think that always leaves a, just a bad, bad optic taste in your mouth. Yeah, I know, the money went to charity, blah, 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 but... Just the way he did it. I don't know. I think that'll always rub me the wrong way. Reigning Knights, 16 out of 99. Mark Jackson, New York Knicks. That's for Jeremy, 33. Jersey and Auto, Jalen Brunson. Dallas Mavs is another one for Mark Leros. Maybe his teammate in the last two hits right there, Mark Leros. Let's find out. Good luck, everybody. Final two, redemption and hit. Redemption is 
Mitchell Robinson rookie patch autographs color for the Knicks. That'll be for Jeremy 33. NYK. Ours is like, I'll always have a preference for franchise players. There's something romantic about that, right? About like, hey, you know, like Tony Gwynn stayed with the same team his entire career. Kobe Bryant stayed with the entire team his entire career. Dirk Nowitzki, you know, guys like that. All right, and the last hit is Jason Kidd for the Mavs. 37 out of 99. That's your Lakers lead assistant coach. Jason Kidd, that, that, that's going to be fun. A lot of chefs in the kitchen for the Lakers. A lot of chefs in the kitchen for the Lakers. Let's see what happens there. Jeremy, no, check that. Um, Mark Leros, sorry, has the Mavs. Jeremy Tillman has the Lakers. Mark Leros with the Mavericks. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another great break of 2018-19 noir basketball in the books. We've got more in the store. Check it out, and we'll break some more tomorrow. Have a great night. Bye-bye.